What's up everyone, Crito here, and I previously made a video on how to set up a server for V Rising 1.0, and I've been getting some questions on how to add in mods now that some of these mods are being updated to 1.0 and they're actually functioning. Uh, so I was gonna go over a video on how to do that. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, is set up your server, make sure it's running, make sure you can log in, do all the things that I had on the previous video, uh, and then you can start here. The second thing you wanna do is go here to thunderstore.io, Go down here to communities and then click on V Rising. When you go to V Rising, it'll show you all of the different mods and mod programs that are created for V Rising. I would just make sure that you click on one of these that says 1.0 update or just put it into the search up here so that it's a 1.0 update. This just makes sure that you're using the stuff that will work with the 1.0 version of the game. Uh, and these are being updated almost daily. So keep checking back, make sure you have the latest version. If something doesn't work, you can always come back here and reinstall it, um, doing the exact same method that we're gonna do now. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna download this Bepin X. So we're gonna click on that. And this does give you all the information on how to install it. And we're just gonna go right here and we're gonna click manual download. When you click the manual download, it will come up here um, into your download folder. If you don't know how to get your download folder, usually you can come right up here in the top right corner of your browser, click on that and it'll show all of your different files that you've downloaded recently. And you can click right here, show in folder, and it'll just open up that folder. Now, the only one that we really need to work with here is just the Bep and X. I'm gonna get rid of all these other ones uh, just so we don't get confused. Um, but this one's obviously, you know, Bep and X is the second download of that. Um, we're also gonna go here to our dedicated server through Steam. We're gonna right click on that and go here to browse local files. And that'll open up our folder for our dedicated server, which is the same thing that we did previously when setting up our server the first time. Uh, so you should know how to do that. Next, we want to double click on the zip file that is the Bepin X uh, V Rising. Double click on that. And then double click on the folder inside of that as well right here and then you're going to want to drag everything in here and put it into your main v rising folder this is going to be where you have your v you know my mine's v bat or whatever you name your server dot bat file so you can click on that first one and then shift click on the last one this will grab all of those and then just drag and drop them over here and it'll take a second depending on the speed of your computer um, but once all of those files have been dragged over you can go ahead and close your uh, folder over here and we'll wait and those should be done momentarily and they're done okay so now once they are done you'll see that you have the bepinx folder you have the net folder and then you have a few other files that you added here if you double click on the bepinx folder you'll have some other folders within here that are just going to be where it's going to store all of the different mods specifically this plugins folder is where you're going to be putting the different mods at but before we do that i want to back out to the main V Rising dedicated folder, and you wanna to go to your file that, your, your bat file that you have named for your folder or your server uh, and run that one time, uh, just like we did previously to make sure all of those folders and things just go ahead and create. Uh, we're gonna let this run and you'll see it's gonna be adding a lot more. Used, it used to only add these files here, but now you're gonna see a lot more stuff loading uh, this time around because it's gotta load all that BEP and X stuff. And we can click on here and you can see that there's a few more folders that I've added in, another file right here. If we go to the config, you're gonna see a bepinx.config. This is where almost all of your configuration files are gonna go for any of your mods. So they're not going to go to your normal configuration files like you had for your server. So make sure that you, know, you have two different places now that you're gonna to need to modify those files. And then all of your uh, different mods are going to go directly into this plugin so bepinx plugins so once you see all of these appear you can go ahead and close this even if it hasn't finished completely over here right now it's not a big deal but you can go ahead and close that now we can go back to thunderstore.io make sure that you still have this update right here highlighted because you want to only get the 1.0 update stuff and there's a few more mods that you're going to want to grab that are going to be almost required to use some of the other mods. Sometimes you can have a mod that doesn't, but I would go ahead and get these just in case so you don't have to worry about it later. The first one's gonna be this Bloodstone mod. You can go ahead and click on that. Go down here to manual download and then back up again. This right here, the Vampire Command Framework is a very, very important one. It's used for almost everything. Go ahead and manual download that as well. 
and we're going to scroll down uh, or you could just do a search for it if you want to and we are going to get this one right here called bloody.core you want to get that one to make all of the bloody mods work and right now that's going to be the majority of your mod so your bloody merchant your bloody wallet um, all of those are going to require that bloody core if you actually click on something like the bloody wallet here and you scroll down you need Bepin X, which we already have installed and you're going to need the vampire control framework and you're going to need the bloody core you don't need the blood blood stone on this one uh, but several of the other ones you will the bloody merchant probably uses it so if you scroll down um, you'll see the different things that are required in this case it does need the blood stone uh, and the blood core so you can see that you do need all of these uh, now to install all of those you're going to go back into your main folder here so this is your vRising folder. Go back into your download folders. So you'll see that here. And we'll put them again side by side. So we have those. And this is going to be all of our new downloads right here, the different mods. So we downloaded Bloody uh, Bloodstone, which we're going to double click on. And all you need is this DLL file. You're going to come over here to the Bepin X, double click on that. You're going to go down here to plugins and you're going to double click on that. And you're just going to grab that DLL file and put it over here. You're going to then back up again and you're going to go here to the vampire framework you're just going to again grab the dll file drag it over here don't worry about any of the other files that are in there and then the bloody core we're going to grab that and drag it over here as well and now you have pretty much set up everything you're going to need for v rising mods you can go in and you can grab whatever mods you want say you wanted bloody encounters or bloody shop you're going to do the exact same thing as we just did previously with all the others download it uh, manual download and then drag and drop the dll file into your plugins uh, and that's going to set up the mod as a base now we're going to get into how to configure those kind of quickly i'm not going to go over every single one of them um, but you may have to figure out how to do some of that on your own but once you have all the mods that you've downloaded and you want you can close that down and you can see we have all of ours in here in this folder i'm going to back up again and the, the next step that you want to do, and this step is one that I always forget, uh, but you want to go into your save data here, so your main folder uh, where your bat file is, and you want to go to save data. And this time, instead of going to saves, which is normally how you get to your settings, you want to go to the settings one right here, and then you want to go to admin list. If you don't turn, if you don't have yourself as an admin, you won't be able to use a lot of these mods um, capabilities so you want to go here to the admin list and double click on it and it's just going to open up a notepad so to add yourself as an admin go to your steam um, application click on your name up here and then go to account details and your steam id will come up right here you want to just copy that steam id so we're going to copy it come over here and paste and then anybody that you want to have an admin, you can just hit enter and paste another one there and paste another one there and so on. So each line will be a different admin. So if you wanted your friends to be admins on your server or whatever, that's how you would do that. Uh, but I'm just going to have myself be an admin. So we're going to go file. I'm going to go save. And then I can close that down and I can close that down. I don't need those anymore. And now every server that I make, as long as it's within these folders, will have me as an admin. So now that you have everything set up that you need, you have Bepinex installed, you have several of your mods installed, you're gonna go right down here to your bat file and you're gonna run that one more time. Uh, this time though, it's gonna take a little bit longer. We want it to completely load. So we're gonna double click on it and then we're gonna wait for it to completely load. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like once it's fully loaded. Okay, so now that we are done, it should say done right here. Zero patcher uh, plugins loaded, and it might still continue to load a few things here and there because this is just running things in the background. Um, once you have gotten to the point where it does say done, you can see that it still continues to do stuff, but it said done, and it's going to continue to do stuff. Don't worry, though. At this point, you're good. Uh, so go up here to the Bepin X. You can double-click on that. Go to the config, and you're going to start seeing some of these files start popping up. Uh, it will continue to make some of the files depending on how many different mods you added in and all that. So just, you know, you can let it keep going and it will continue to add in the different files. Um, at this point, however, you should be able to load into the game and do some things with your mod. So we're going to switch over uh, to the game. I'm going to go right over here. We're going to go to V Rising. I'm going to load that up.
And I'm gonna show you some of the things that you can do with just the stuff that I have installed so far. Uh, we're gonna load into my server. And I actually haven't even made a character on this particular server. So we're gonna go in and load it the first time. Uh, I can click play, click online, show all servers. And then vcriddle, this is my server right here. Uh, if, you, if your server is not popping up, you might need to go right here and just type in the name of it. Uh, so I would type in v space criddle and then wait a second or hit this uh, refresh down here if it's not popping up. It should based on previously because you shouldn't be at this point unless you have already installed your server and got it working. Um, so you're going to click join. We're going to go down here. We're going to put in our password and hit connect. And this is going to create for me my first character. You may already have a character created uh, and that's fine as well if you already have your character created. Uh, I would say that you want to, if you're doing this, or you're gonna be modding a server, go ahead and add all of the mods in and then create your characters if you can. You may have to configure some things in the game, so you might wanna create your character, but don't let everybody else create theirs. Uh, I'm just gonna hit randomize a couple of times and then we're gonna hit complete. Type in my name as Criddle and then hit complete. And then it'll load into the game as normal. So you're gonna load in as you always do, but now you're gonna be an admin of your server because we went through how to make you an admin and you're gonna have different commands that you can do. The admin of the server is going to use the tilde key, which is the key that's directly underneath your escape key. If you press that, this console will come up and this is where you're gonna type in all of your admin commands. Um, the only one you really need to do here is going to be admin auth, so you're going to type in admin and then hit tab or ad and then hit tab and it'll fill it in for you admin off and you hit enter and you can see down there it says you now have administrator privileges if it says you don't have the administrator privilege privileges it'll say like um, something denied negative 5 dkp or something that means that in your uh in your file for the admin list you did not put in your steam id correctly so you might need to log back out double check that make sure it's correct and then you are done with that you can use other types of admin controls like you can give yourself items so you can say give and then hit tab and you can choose the different items i'm not going to get involved in all of that if you want to know how to do that you can look that up we're going to close this now though and if you hit enter to open up your log here you can type dot help and it's going to list all of the different things that you can do based on the mods that you've installed. We've only really installed a few little things, but we have installed the framework. So dot help pulls up our vampire framework. And you can see here that it is pulling in our vampire framework stuff so we can start using some of those mods. So this is one of the mods that is in the server. And this is how you're going to be doing almost every single mod going forward. You're going to be entering them by hitting enter and typing them directly in to your chat down here. Usually it starts with something like dot and then for like uh, bloody encounters, I believe is BE and then space. And then you're going to type in whatever it says. Uh, so we're going to go back to how to do that at this point. But now everything should be working. You can go ahead and close out of the game. Um, because that shows that it is currently working. So we're gonna go back to our desktop and we're gonna switch back over to uh, here. And you can see that everything's already loaded. Uh, we have our server going up over here. It's done doing whatever it's gonna be doing. And you can see that we have all of our things over here. So if there's any config files that need to be changed, you're gonna change them here. There may also be folders here. Uh, if we go back to, let's see the Thunderstore. I'm going to go over a little bit of one of these just so you kind of understand how to do it, but I don't want to go over each one because it would take forever to go over each one. But let's say we want to set up the bloody boss encounters. Um, this one right here, once you have it installed, this is just kind of telling you how to do some of the stuff. But if you scroll down into these, it'll give you the different commands that you can use. So come down here to where it says commands. And then inside of the game, you could do that dot BB test name of boss mob that will that's how you use the commands right so when you want to create a boss mob you come down here this is create your desired boss mob and you're going to come and click or type in dot bb space create name of your monster in quotation marks it doesn't put that right here but if you look right down at the example you can literally copy and paste this 
uh, right here. You can copy that, paste it into your game and it'll create an alpha wolf at level 90 that will last for 30 minutes because it's using these things down here. So BB create alpha wolf in quotations or whatever you want to name your monster. The pre GUI or whatever this is things called the the uh, the ID of the actual in uh, character in the game. Then the level is going to be this 90 and then the multiplier means the health multiplier for this particular mod is going to be one. And then the life, uh, lifetime in seconds is going to be 1800s, which is 30 minutes. So that's how you do these. This is how you're going to use most of the commands within the game. So look at whatever commands they have. Um, but they also do list what the configuration file is. So if you, once you get the um, bloody boss mob downloaded or bloody boss mod downloaded and installed it will create a bloody boss config file which will be right in here it'll actually put it into another folder you'll have two different ones i believe there's going to be one bloody boss and then there's going to be a folder that has another one that has a list of your different things in it so that the bloody boss will be this one right here and it tells you what these different things do you may have to turn these on or turn these off uh, some of them you're gonna have to go in and change like this one right here if you want the player's online multiplier, you have to turn that on. Um, the default world boss, you know, things like that. It's just gonna have some of these defaults. You may want to change some of these to your liking. For the most part, these mods are going to be ready to go and work as soon as you install them, but there's a few that you may have to go through and make a few tweaks on those config files, very similar to what you did to create the server in the first place. Anyway, that should help you out with getting started on your mods. If you have any questions, please, you know, send them over to me. Just, uh, you know, send them through a comment or direct uh, message me on Discord or something, and I will see if I can answer them as best I can. I'm not going to go through every single mod and show you how to set up every single mod. There are ways to do that. There, you know, you just kind of look through the different configuration process and it should be fairly straightforward. But if you get hung up, let me know and I'll do what I can to help. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.